So what's your beef with the Trend Twins? Man, I don't have real actual beef with anyone. Like, yeah. really? Like, I don't care. Like, I okay, so the Trend Twins are these guys. They remind me of me when I'm their age, like, except for the fact they're on gear, but I'm like, I was not, like... But they're powerlifters and bodybuilders, and yeah. they're exceptionally strong, yeah. and they could be extremely good powerlifters, and I think world record holders in powerlifting. So I'm coaching them, you know, for free. I'm coaching them, and I'm preparing them for a show. You and were I'm their like, coach. I was their coach okay. for whatever months, and I'm like getting the updates every week, and I'm like, you guys are not lean enough. Well, we want our pro cards by this year. And I'm like, I don't think you understand how hard it is to diet to like 5% body fat. Like, I don't think you can get that lean. I'm like, here's a picture of me. I'm a 48 year old man on HRT. This is how you should look eight weeks out. Well, oh my God, you're so lean. I'm like, it's gonna, you're gonna have to be way leaner than this. So they weren't really keeping up and they were you know, wanting cheats and stuff. And so ended up, they didn't do the show. They backed out. Um, they ended up getting a different coach or getting gear from someone. And it wasn't That's why you're me. mad. That's why you're mad. Well, they, they it, one of the videos made it look like I was the one selling them gear that was bad because they they were they're, they weren't getting real stuff, right? And they're not getting really good progress. I'm like, how is your testosterone levels lower than mine? Like this doesn't make sense, you know. And obviously, I'm not going to talk about what they done or didn't right, right. take, but they weren't going to become successful, and I couldn't help them. And I tried my best, um, and I have no problem with them. And I hope they do great. But I just find people need to be honest. And the way it ended was just. I think unfortunate. Like, um, I think I could have helped them be better powerlifters and bodybuilders. But um, if if you don't do what I ask, and are you going to get the results? Like, you have to actually try. They didn't, didn't buy the cookbook. They tried huh? that. They hard. didn't buy the cookbook. I gave them the cookbook. They made recipes <laughs> Dude, from the I book. Swear they to God. did the French toast. Yo, you you're it's one of like, the funniest uh, <laughs> social media people to me because like you'll post anything and be like, buy my cookbook. Oh that yeah. Was, like, I would just have jokes with my friend. Like, I know I would sometimes <laughs> throw shots randomly in videos, but I'd be like. To say things and be like, buy my cookbook though. No. I yeah. swear to God, it's so funny to me. We would laugh about all the time. Like you post anything. I'll, I'll say anything. Hey, why your relationships fail? Well, you didn't buy my cookbook. Like just throw that in. Like at any time. Like if you would have had the cookbook, you definitely wouldn't have got that. Like it just, yeah. I what, love that. What's your, uh, what's your perception though? Cause like there, it's, it does somewhat bug me. Cause like, I, you know, I know, I know how the whole content space works. So it's like people talk this and that. It's like drama views. What's your perception though? Cause you, you do leverage that for monetary benefit, you know? And I think people have this weird, like, I don't know, I guess as a viewer, they have this weird outlook on people who make content. I don't like, they don't read between the lines. Like they don't see that that's what you're also doing is like marketing something. You know people what I'm saying? People get mad when I'm trying to make money. Like I'll advertise in every single video as soon as it comes out. Like if we're talking about getting a woman, I'll be like, hey, now it's hard, harder than last time pills. Take this. Like it just comes out of nowhere. Like whatever, you, you're falling asleep. Why do you need to try my pre-workout? Every video I'm advertising something and they're like, oh, all you do is advertise. I'm like, so I employ 14 people. I yeah. have a company and in life we're supposed to be, you know, train really hard, work really hard, become successful. And as soon as I do that and I do all the things they're supposed to do, now you hate me for it. For being, for what, being success, successful, make, having a good job, making a living and marketing myself. I don't have a hundred athletes pushing my supplements. So another company, they don't say anything. I'm like, I'm me. If I wasn't for me, my company would die. You know what I mean? I have yeah. to sell this. So it's how I make money. Like I started by pushing my cookbook. No one minded that except for the price maybe, but <laughs> I'm like, guys, I'm going to double the price. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, but yeah, so that's a whole different topic. And I'm like, okay, now I sell um, supplements. This is what I do for a living. Like, what is wrong with that? You know, I, yeah. I see no harm in in selling or supp your sell supplements or cookbooks. I mean, how is that yeah. bad? No, it's nothing bad. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's like there. There's that sometimes when you use other other like you use the content to sort of pull down other creators to like then sell stuff. Because I've been in the industry for so long, and I've been in a space where like I can't tell you how many lame in this industry specifically the fitness industry would tear me down just so they could sell some yeah and i can come from that perspective where i'm like this is lame yeah so part of me like part of me thinks it's lame but i also understand like i understand the space um <clears throat> i mean i think when i look at your videos i never saw you like what i've seen i've never seen you really be like yo this person go buy my stuff 
you more so like would talk about things. I'll make fun of what they say. Like Eddie yeah. Abu, you're familiar with this guy? No. Eddie Abu is 61 years old. He was competing in Mr. Olympia. He's got three and a half million followers on, on Instagram now. And he basically says, wake the fuck up. This is shit for anything. So his last post, it was like last week, he said, everything is sugar. Fruits, rice, bread, everything's sugar. And I'm like, it's not like you're wrong. He's, he's a carnivore eater. So he only eats basically meat and vegetables. And he says, if you, if you eat a bunch of eggs, you build as much muscle as steroids. You don't need steroids. This guy <laughs> abused drug for years. What? He's like, I switched from a, a, all the, the regular American diet type thing to now I just eat carnivore and look at how much healthier I am. My enzymes went this way and I'm this way and I'm so much healthier in my blood work. I'm like, dude, you were on steroids, insulin and growth hormone. Maybe you stopped that. And you stopped why. that and now that's what's, but he's making it look like it's the diet. So I'm like seven or eight videos about him and what he's saying. And then I'll say, buy my cookbook. <laughs> so it's like, am I, I'm, I don't, he's making his money. He's got a gimmick. He's got a thing. He's like, wake the f up and ev this is shit. That's his thing. That's what he says. It, he's, he's funny. But I'm like, the fact that you're saying that, and I don't believe it, I'm going to call you out on it. Yeah. But I don't hate him. Yeah, no, I, I get I just it. hate when you lie about things, you know? So if somebody's going to say something that isn't true, I'm just going to say, well, based on my experience, this is True. Well, what do you think? Do you think I've ever taken trend, like, consistently? I think you said you just use it for a week. Yeah. But at one point Whatever you, you said. I, I think at one point you said I lied about that. About which one? Trend? About trend. I don't remember if you, but if I said you yeah. lied, you never took trend. You just said you took it. No, no, no. You said you, cause I think I made a video. I know I made a video talking about, I've only taken it for like a week. And I think you might've been like, that's a lie. I, I could have said that very 100% well. 100% not being, a lie. Like, you would remember more than me. Cause yeah, of I've course. Been, done 3000 videos. So yeah, I do. Cause I've never lied about anything. I just normally don't talk about mm. like, otherwise it's like, it, why talk about it? If it's like, like, I, I understand your point. Like, the whole guy talking about this is the reason why. I mean, that's been a thing in the fitness industry forever, which is like started with the muscle tech where it's like 500% gains. It's like the guy's just on a ton of steroids. The fitness industry is just a weird space because 99% of people don't really know what works and they're just willing to listen to anything. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, well, like Eddie Abu, he'll say it's not calories in, calories out. All you have to do is eat eggs and meat and you'll lose weight and you'll be healthy. See, you'll like cure mental illness from it even said. That's like from diet. He's like, if you're depressed, wake the fuck up. It's from what you're eating. He said it. I'm like, dude, that's a bit excessive, you know. Too, uh, it's weird because like with certain phrases, like certain senses, there is like a little bit of truth, but it's not a whole truth. That's the thing when it comes to the human body. And I know you know this is like not, there's not one thing fits all. Like some people might respond really well to a carnival diet. Exactly. Some people For just that. won't certain two percent of the population is probably an amazing diet yeah you know if i try it i'll, I'll what I do you think like is it. the best overall sort of diet the one that you can sustain eat it the one that you enjoy that you can keep in a calorie deficit that gets you to where you where you have to be well i don't care if it's full of sugar i don't care if it's full of carbs i don't care if it's full of fat or but you don't think that sugar is is overall bad for your health no and so i'll give you the two examples i'm doing i burn about a thousand calories in an hour but not if i just race. ate a bunch of candy that's like not good okay so give me two examples you got yeah let's say you're eating three thousand calories a day maintain your weight and then you start doing one hour bike race every day and you burn off a thousand calories and then with that you eat a thousand calories of licorice so okay. you're you're a regular guy three thousand calories now you burn off a thousand calories in a bike race and you add a thousand calories of licorice versus the guy that doesn't do the thousand calories of cardio but has no sugar as the best diet you who burn off that thousand calories on that licorice diet way healthier you, way healthier you don't think that just the the like the other in the licorice is that is like more detrimental to your health than if they ate some other form of sugar the cardio is so much gonna outdo <clears throat> the bad diet it's unbelievable like if you're eating in general you get your your basic health needs like your fruits and your vegetables you're already getting your basics and then everything else is shit on top of it you're gonna be healthier than the person that doesn't do the cardio so i'm just like do the cardio. Like when I have a message, like I'm, I'm a bodybuilder, professional bodybuilder. If somebody says, hey, if you could do cardio weights for the rest of your life, would you pick? I'm saying cardio. And so that's from a guy that loves to lift weights. Because of the health benefits. Because of the health benefits, you don't, absolutely. You don't think there's, there's as many health benefits to doing the cardio? Way Excuse more me, to benefits doing the weights. on cardio than weights. 
And people, the bodybuilding and the fitness industry want to make it look like weights is more important than cardio. That's just what I want to believe. Yeah, because it's like a lot of people <laughs> hate cardio. And I'm I kind of that. sad. I like boxing, I though. love cardio. I love, Boxing's cardio. Yeah, I love that. It's shit. absolutely cardio. So you found the kind of cardio that that you love, that you want to get out, and this is fun. Yeah. And that's what I want everyone to do. I love biking. Yeah, I, don't I love like biking running. Too. But you know, if, if I love to run, run. If you like to run, bike, bike, uh, skate, skate, do what. Do so you think everyone happy. should be doing cardio? Absolutely. 